Hello guys, today I have a Ford Focus LW and it has one of its notorious problems the leaking heating heater core so here's the leak coming from so if you haven't found out so probably the supposed charge is coming from here and if you know it's coming from here then the culprit is over there the two pipes one of them is leaking uh, my plan is to go ahead and just fix the leaks on both of them um, only one of them may be leaking but I'm just gonna go ahead and fix both of them so I'll show you step by step how to do that It's a tough one. You want to remove this piece and to remove this piece you have to take away this one. And to remove this one there are three clips inside one here, one here and one here. You dislodge these three clips and this thing will come out. Now this piece is attached to the trim by a few clips here, here, here and here. All you need to do is pull them out. Now here's a screw that we need to remove so that this piece can come out. So I was able to remove it, you can just flip it out but still there is not enough room to work behind it. You might want to take a chance so that you can just uh, uh, pull it on the side and start working behind it. But I would rather go and pull some other stuff so that I can properly work on it. And uh, to pull this thing properly you have to start from the top. You have to take this thing out. Then this one, then this one, and after that you'll be able to remove the side cover. So the trick to remove this one is to just uh, find the smallest uh, smudger that you have, or just a card, and start sliding it in. So once you're sliding it in, just try to move it to the right until you hear crackling sounds. Now this will reveal a few screws, one, two here, and we don't, oh, there's one over there too, uh, we have to remove this so that we can uh, access this, so we have to remove these two, three screws, and we'll go from there. These small bolts are a bit tricky, so the only socket that I was able to fit in is a Imperial 7x32.
now out. And we have a clear view of what we are trying to do here now. Now I can clearly see that upper, my upper clip, uh, I think it's leaking. There's some coolant over here. To remove these clips, I'll just have to go behind them and pry these clips out. See, this one's open. Both of them are now out. That's the remnants of the old seal, I believe. So I'll just remove this one too. Come on. This one's stuck good in there. Looks like the seal is okay with it. Today or tomorrow, this one's gonna go out. Oh man, ding, ding, ding. No, no, no. Shit. Yeah. This is how a good seal looks like, I guess. So I'll just try to renew that one too. Now we are not going to replace the O-rings because uh, if the O-rings are small, it's going to leak again. If the O-rings are a bit larger, then uh, it's not going to go in. So what we're going to use is uh, a gasket maker. We have applied on all sides of the tubes uh, and the outer tubes and the inner housings. This way when it goes in and dries out, it will be good. You can see that I've used a lot of gasket maker all around these tubes. Uh, they are really easy to go in. You can just push with your hands. If you need additional help, just use the bed nose plier and push them in. It should go in quite easily. Last but not least, the plastic clips. They're hollow in the middle. Just fill them up liberally with uh, lots of casket maker. When they go on top of those pipes, they'll push them together and make a very good seal on top of them. Now put the plastic clamps back on the metallic tube and be careful not to break anything. I broke one of mine and had to use a metallic clamp on top of the plastic one to keep it in its place till the casket maker dries out completely. Once finished, put everything back in reverse order, leave it overnight to make sure that the gasket maker dries out completely. Then fill it up and watch out for any leaks for the first few days.